doing well in the centre of the ground. Kernahan, oh, good mark. An excellent mark by Kernahan. At the moment, the Bears are a point in front. So put them five in front of he kicks it. It oh, it floats away, but did it just sneak in? It did for a goal. Forwards have been very, very ordinary. They're just not putting on any pressure whatsoever. Blackwell. Half forward, a beautiful pass to Kernahan, and Mendelssohn had no chance of stopping that pass. Now, Kernahan has a long kick, but he's going to pass this to one of his brothers here. No, Kenny Hunter. Oh, that's intelligent play. Going for the long one. Doesn't go all that far. Oh, great mark by Stephen Kernahan. Elated the skipper, and he pulls one down 20 metres out on a slight angle. He's kicked two goals. That's certainly worth another look. Yes, Stephen uh, Kernahan. during that second quarter, we've mentioned that he started getting back on top, and all of a sudden he's lining up for, for goal number three, and he's always dangerous with that marking ability, and I still believe that the most dangerous player in football is a bloke that can mark somewhere near the sticks. Especially if he can convert <laughs> with the percentage ratio that this man can. There is another one. So Kernahan looking kick by Richard Dennis up to it full forward Kernahan's mark. A very very deliberate shot by the captain. Up Dennis. Clear over the top Kernahan he can go over the top again to his brother or kick for goal. He likes to kick for goal and puts it through. Concentration kicks the ball towards centre half forward Kernahan. Great grab. Sensational mark by the captain. And what a great kick too from Bradley to find that spot. In short, is it Hunter? Been crashed to the ground by Simon Madden. To Buckley in the centre. Across to DeRui. DeRui goes long, very long, to pull forward. Kernahan. We spoke about it before the game, about uh, the Carlton forward line perhaps being too good and too dangerous for Essendon. And now we're seeing it come to the fore. Kernahan in the right forward pocket, just 25 metres out, as you can see, virtually tucked on the boundary line. This could make the margin 45 points. Kernahan shoots. Kernahan goal. I've into Sydney and around New South Wales. It's a history-making day as far as uh, that telecast is concerned. Here's Kernahan. He'll chip over to Glascott, and this will be another goal. Carlton will hit the front. Himself thumped it right away beautifully. Blackwell's in the centre. He's got Bradley in support. Bradley streaming goalwards. A long 55-metre kick towards full forward. Kernahan! Perfect mark overhead by the big Carlton captain. 25 metres from goal on a slight angle. It's a pretty ordinary chase in from Henwood. I mean, he just let him run away. Did not even contest the football. Well, there's a bit of class here, isn't there, with uh, Stephen Kernahan. Chance to kick his first goal. Good looking kick. Straight over the goal umpire's head. And the seventh goal has been kicked. For Bradley, who's going to recover first? Bradley on all fours. He's up now, but needs support. Naley gives it to him. He got a back pedal to Kernahan. Oh, I suppose they've still got hold of the footy, and I, I guess that's what you've got to do. I mean, there was not a lot of options in for Naley. No, he He's had a quick that. look back, seen the captain Kernahan, and said, "Well, why not? 35, 38 uh, metres out," um, and has really set up Stephen Kernahan to post yet another goal for Carlton. He kicked one in the second quarter also. And his kick this time looks good. That's his second. All he was set up. But they both pulled out. They had no intention of hitting him. Johnston. Round 22, 1987, revisited. The last match last year, he kicked a goal from just about the same spot. The scores were marginally yeah, yeah, the scores closer were a together. Bit, a little bit different. 
Yes, he won it with the last kick of the day. Certainly not under that pressure at the moment. Although he's taking plenty of time in his approach. The drop punt is on its way. It's a lovely looking kick. Well, maybe you could thank the umpire for that. Because as we mentioned, the lead up, they would not have got the ball down there. And up to Kernahan, but dropping short. Oh, sensational. Nailing. Inside 50. Over the top. Goal coming up. Here's Glasgow. And from 10 metres out. Oh, he went close to missing it, but he got the goal. David Glasgow to Kernahan. Oh, beautiful hands. Oh, let's play on his. Goes for the short pass. Madden, uh, rather Satori. John Peter Budge, left foot into the goal square, but the only man waiting there is Stephen Kernahan. Good strong mark by Kernahan, who's been moved onto the ball. He was well beaten at centre half forward. With difficult conditions for key forwards today. He was beaten by Jones. Kernahan, right down the middle is the order of the day, I would think. There's Kernahan and Winmar. Kernahan's got it cleverly to Gleason. Oh, they're looking good now, the Blues. Fraser. Kernahan came good and beaten player. Good. Herman over the top. Johnson waiting for it. A little fortunate with the bounce there, Johnston. And up towards centre half forward, another mark for Satori. Quickly on to Murphy. Murphy likes the snapshots. He gives it off to Kernahan. Kernahan from 30, straight in front, puts it through. Did I a better position, aren't they? Glasgow's kick towards the front of the square. Great mark taken by Kernahan. And I would say that that's the sort of thing that South Australians saw week in, week out when this man was playing over there. A tremendous here. Yeah. Well, he hasn't taken many of those spectacular marks. Probably the ground's not as hard as he think. That was a bump ball picked up by Campbell. Williams, Herman, Murphy at centre wing. Not a long kick from the Carlton Rover. There's a lot of his work closer to goal, of course. Kernahan turns on a trippany bit. 50 out. Good goal from there with the wind. That's not bad. It's true. On the run inside the square now. Straight down the ground. Kernahan in front. That was strength, wasn't it? He had to get one eventually. Yep. I mean, Taylor's beaten him about four times. You can see there Kernahan throwing the elbow back into the chest and just at that crucial moment, upsetting Taylor. Steve Kernahan's kick two. He doesn't usually miss from this close in. The only thing against him is the breeze. Straight through the centre. And Taylor remonstrating with pushes his opponent Campbell in the face. Goes long up the full foot. Kernahan! Taylor says he pushed him out. Umpire doesn't agree. No well, do I. The umpires seem to let those infringements going, but I was going to mention at three-quarter time when summing up, doing a summary, that those little fellows of Carlton have got to get the ball out of the centre. And they did on that occasion through Bradley and Johnson. And that long kick from Johnson and Kernahan didn't let him get down. Lining up for his fourth goal. And he could kick it with his eyes shut, I would reckon. Well, don't say that. No worries. Well, Stephen to centre wing. Sartori puts Carlton into attack again. Long up the full forward. Kernahan again. What a good strong. mark. Great mark by a big... Not bad. It's a goal. Well, that was a... Tories in front could have almost got a free kick. Taken by Doritich over the top. Kernahan, 20 metres out. Kernahan, and he gets the goal. Just what the doctor ordered. Do you agree with that one, Malcolm? I was just about to say, I, I did not see it, to be honest. It really hasn't mattered because the ball's going to end up back where it came from. Stephen Kernahan. This would just test his leg out today, his distance. Very heavy ball. It's uh, kicking from 43 metres or so. 
and this to make the margin 19 points. So a very important kick. Kernahan's drop punt is on the way. He's given it every chance and he's gone. Back come the Blues. Two goals in this quarter to Stephen Kernahan. And that kick couldn't do anything. Hannah, a quick kick. Kernahan. Yes. A very good mark. Gutsy mark by Steve Kernahan at the 40 metre mark. He's battled hard, hasn't he, Steve Kernahan today? And look at this mark. Good, courageous mark by Steve Kernahan. And that could have almost been 50 metres there against Andrew Collins. Well, Kernahan has kicked two shockers so far from about that distance. Steve Kernahan from 40 metres. There's a better looking kick. It's a goal. And it's a much better kick there from Steve Kernahan. He went back and really followed through with that kick, something he didn't do with those first. Oricic going off the ground. Nailing's kick towards centre half board. Marking contest. It's a hard mark. It's the captain, Stephen Kernahan. 50 metres from goal. He got the distance the last time he kicked. Wasn't that an excellent mark, too? There's a big pack there, pack of four, and Kernahan late and over the top. An excellent mark. Kernahan directly in front. High ball. Gets the distance. It's home. So the confidence that Carlton lacked early in the game. Be taken by Herman, who's done pretty well since he's come on the ground. In short, Kernahan. If it's not a mark, it's obviously a free kick. The umpire signifies that he's paying the mark to Steve Kernahan, and that's the difference in the Carlton team. Kernahan started to get the football. And they seem to have lifted Ian in the last 10 minutes. Yes, well, I think if you watch your captain taking a few marks and getting a few possessions, it certainly is a lift for the other players. And Steve Kernahan, one may have thought he's been playing poorly, but look at those statistics. He punts for goal. It's coming around with a breeze. Has it got no length? Yes! But Carlton trailed by four points. Yes, I think you've hit the... Gleeson, he's done some dangerous work. Naily. Kernahan on his own. Right, hasn't he, Malcolm? Oh, that's fantastic play. And Steve Kernahan, who's kicked two goals, as you can see. He's what terrific skills as Mark Naily, and uh, he really did set up Stephen Kernahan and Carlton and Kernahan for his third goal for the quarter. And coming in for his tenth kick. He's been the, the catalyst as far as Carlton's comeback is concerned. The goal. Three goals to Kernahan, all kicked in the second term. The difference again. The ball. Herman gets out the back somehow to Naley. Naley's left foot kick wide, gives Kernahan the run at it. Now he falls over at the crucial stage. Dersma's up to gathering the football. Hard up against the boundary line. It's still in play. Silvani off to Kernahan. The Blues in attack. Kernahan short pass is good. And Satori takes the round. Kick off the ground again. Chance now for Herman. He thumps the ball into the forward area. Goes through Danny Hughes. Kernahan's a chance. He breaks the tackle. Snapshot is great. Oh, it's shit. really a goal. It's home. Tremendous goal. Kicked by Steve Kernahan, his fourth. Yes, just what the doctor ordered for Carlton. At the moment, Collingwood really will have to do something. Carlton are playing with great confidence. Here's the kick. Kernahan at the back. Yes! A big mark. He had his name written all over that. And you don't see him do too many of those or take many of those marks. He did one in Brisbane a couple of weeks ago. He's usually in front, but you could see him get up high then. A knee into the back of Christian and a good ride. Well, they've got a side. They're all firing at the moment. Their back line's doing well. They're getting it out of the centre and their forward line with Kernahan and uh, Satori looks very dangerous. Good coaching, too, to have Meldrum up there, as you said, Don. Just give them that extra option up there. Kernahan from 30 metres. And uh, they're already four goals, one in front. There's a kick. It's a wobbly, but I might have put it through. I think he has. Yes, it's another one. Green start for Carlton, taken by Blackwell. Kernahan made for him, name on it. The ride was set, absolutely set up for him. Kernahan to half forward. And Sartori, second bite. 50. Yep. Not a great kick, only travels about 35 metres. Kernahan spins, shoots, and goals. Well, I just 
Superman hit it. Dacos over to Madden. Kernahan should score from there. He's kicked 2-2 so far. Make it 3-2.